this the complete uh, stone? Oh, it is. Now it looks like an elation. It's the second half of the piece of the stone disc entrusted to the elation and the marum a long time ago. It's the second half of the piece of the stone disc entrusted to the elation and the marum a long time ago. The second half? It's the whole stone, actually, not just the second half. All right, uh, large rock. And there's nothing else that we can. The do sand here. is covering something. The sand is covering something. Was oh, that a hole that I can enter to? Feels more like a shell than a rock. Uh, I don't think it's a rock. I think it's alive. This? Like some sort of a skin for a huge ass monster? Oh boy. Uh. It's some kind of organic sensor. Organic sensor. It's soft and spongy. Ew. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody in there? Whoa. Spooky. Well, I guess it's an invitation of sorts. This uh, one opened. Large orifice. Let's get inside. There's air in here. And it's dry. I swear I'm never taking a bath again. Huh? What does that have to do with uh, the air being dry, though? What the hell? This looks like an eye, actually. That doesn't look like a natural protrusion. It's too big and round. Round? That doesn't look like a natural protrusion. It's too big and I know round. You. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it is an eye. Oh, God. Do not be afraid. I know what you are. Uh, you... you do? Yes. Yes. What would you hear? I do not like to be... Disturbed. Uh oh. <laughs> I wish to be left alone. I wish to rest until the day of ascension. Day of ascension? Huh. <laughs> Some things are more important than your nap time. Is he gonna eat me? Eat my ass? Let's be polite. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I need some answers. Everyone needs answers. Everyone has questions. I am not the oracle. I cannot answer. All your questions. I don't expect you to answer all of them, but I was hoping for an answer to at least some of them. Then ask and be gone. Oh shit. Looking for a jewel called a dragon's eye, really? So he, he claims that he knows uh, who we are and what we are, so we probably should ask him more about that. What am I? What do you mean? 
You said you know what I am. What am I? You do not know. Then it is not I who should teach you about your heritage. You must make this discovery on your own. Damn, the option select to answer, huh? Listen, I'm tired. I'm wet. I'm at the bottom of the sea and I'm breathing with the help of a polyp stuck in my esophagus. Ew. So just cut the Buddhist bullshit about a journey of self-discovery and answer my question. April! Please? Your question has already been answered. Who answered that? That is all I will tell you. Your journey began with an answer. It is only now that you know the question. That's so not helpful, but thank you. Definitely confusing. What is this day of ascension? What is the day of ascension? The day when the kin return home. When my siblings come to me. And we rise toward the stars. For our journey back to our cradle. This is the day of ascension. Why did you come here in the first place? So you're going back to wherever it is you came from? We will eventually. When everything is ready. What are you guys waiting for? When what's ready? I will not answer that question. It is not necessary for you to know this guy's this guy sucks <laughs> this guy sucks please tell me this I need to know where I can find the gateway to the guardian's realm so you come to me mm, yeah they told me well they, as in the few people who could tell me anything at all, they told me that if anyone would know, it'd be you. I know. When the earth was divided, there was a doorway left open where the tower was built. But it's moved, hasn't it? That spot, when Stark and Arcadia were created, that spot moved somewhere else. Into the sky, amongst the stars. In space? But where? I knew you were coming. Your journey has not been a quiet one. Even down here, I could hear you. I speak with the dark people. Dark people? They are my messengers. They have prepared a map for you. With the entrance you are looking for. Oh, nice. You knew I was coming and why? Then, okay, I know this is probably a futile question. But why didn't you send the dark people to me earlier? You could have saved me a lot of time and hard work. You are afraid of time and hard work. Uh, yes? No, but it's the principle of it, isn't it? N no, yes, you are afraid that you may, might, might fail and waste uh, time. You had prophecies to fulfill. You had a purpose. Bringing my children together in preparation. This was important, and for that, I thank you. I'm looking for a jewel called the Dragon's Eye. That's the last question, by the yes. way. Yes, I have one such jewel. 
I actually kind of forgot about this jewel. What's the purpose of it? Uh. I guess that's it. Ew. Take it. Are you sure? Take it. It is yours now. It is part of your destiny. Uh, how can I use it? Okay. Tell me if it hurts. Ugh. Now, I wish to sleep. You said something about a map? Yeah, I want the, I want that map. Dark people have it. They will need you. I will bring you to them. What? Now? Yes. Oh shit! Oh, this is uh, this dragon is huge. It's more like a whale, actually. Dark people. What the hell was that? Uh. Let's read the new entry here. Saturday evening, August 5th, 2209. The ancient dragon, the Merum sleeping god, uh, was obtuse, like most creatures I've met the past week. But at least he gave me one of the four jewels I need to complete the stone disc. Oh, right. I need to collect a jewel from each dragon, not only the discs. Mmm. I thought okay. I thought I need to I, I thought I thought I needed to get to the discs as well. And he's uh taking me to meet the dark people, and apparently they will give me a map of the stars, where the entrance to the Guardian's realm is now located. Amongst the stars. How the hell am I gonna get up there? Well, I'll deal with that problem later on. <laughs> Hmm, I don't know. For now, I'll just keep uh, obsessing about uh, what the dragon said about who I am. Uh, what I am. Yeah, what you are. What the hell are you, uh, April? You said that my journey began with an answer, and it's only now that I know the question. What does that mean? I feel I should know that the answer is just right there in front of me. But I can't grasp it. I just don't know what the, what he means. And it's really, really frustrating. Oh boy. The ship fog. is enshrouded in a thick fog, very mystic like. This is a ship? They look like a real sail. I can't see where we're going through that fog. <sighs> Cloaked figure. Can we go back? No. All right. Thanks for taking me on board. Who are you? I'm April. Oh, uh, well, I thought you... I mean, didn't the old dragon... Well, I'm April Ryan, from Stark. And I guess you're a dark person. But who are you? I... I'm just a student, not anybody special. I'm the Windbreaker. You are special. Who are you? <laughs> I am special. I'm not. I'm just... <sighs> I'm the Windbringer. I'm the Water Stiller. I'm April Bondu Mbata of the Banda and the Venar Kungang La. I'm oh, a shifter. Shit. I will someday become the 13th Guardian, the Protector of the Balance. And I'm April Ryan. This is who I am. Yes, that is who you are. And you are a wave. A wave? Um. Oh. 
I thought that guy was coming for me. Ho Hogan! But why am I a wave? Why am I a, a wave? You have a purpose. You play an important part in the cosmos. A wave is someone who propels people and events toward change, towards the future. Huh. And that's what I do? You are a wave. There are ripples from your passing, and they spread wide and far. Those ripples will never die down. The worlds will be changed by your journey. You're telling me that everything I do affects the universe? You cannot escape it. You are a wave. Damn. That's not comforting at all. I can screw up uh, the whole of the world! Damn. They probably have one of the stones, right? So I can complete the disc. I'm looking for an ancient stone given to you by the Sentinel, the Fathers. I'm looking for an ancient stone given to you by the Sentinel, the Fathers. You came for the stone. Of course we have it with us. Our ship would not have been chosen to meet you were it not for the stone we carry with us. Everybody's just waiting around for me to show up, so they can give me stuff. Who knew adventuring was going to be this easy? It will not always sarcasm. be so easy. Of that I can assure you. Not sarcasm, trust me. Stone. We entrust it to you, as we were instructed to do when the fathers first entrusted it to us. Oh, that was easy. The ancient dragon. The blue of the dry kin told me you had a map for me. That's the last question. A map of stars, yes. It was made for you in our library and given to me to hold. It is yours now. Keep it well. It is the only one. The only one? Oh shit. Can't you guys we make me give me, me a carbon copy? I mean, would you mind? We will bring you to Mercuria henceforth. It will take the night, but we will be there at first light. Oh shit. That's fine. Thanks a lot. You are free to rest here, to sleep, while we travel. The flames will keep you warm, but do not move too far away. My brothers are not friendly with outsiders. They do not take kindly to intrusion. Uh, All right. Keep that in mind. I'm staying right here. Good sleep. Uh, it's not a comfortable place to sleep on. I guess we'll have to deal with that. Chapter nine: Shadows. Can't see shit, Captain. Did you sleep? I Very guess. comfortably, thanks. Oh, all right. Where are we? In the Mercuria Harbor. But there are barely any ships here. I do not know why. We must leave you here. We have other business. Carry your wave into the future, April. Whatever that means, I'll try. No ships in the harbor? Where did all the ships go? They're gone. This can't be a good sign. I mean, duh. The city looks strangely quiet and deserted. And grim. Sky. Those are not ordinary clouds. They look more like, like smoke. What's going on here? Is it war? Oh God, it's war. It's the Terran. Let's read the new entry. 
Sunday, August 6th, early morning. How many weird and mysterious people are there in Arcadia? It seems for every normal person, and I mean that in the broadest possible uh, sense, there are five or six strange obtuse uh, meandering uh, creatures with a tendency to speak really slowly and say things like, Who are you? And I see your path, April, and it's not uh, an easy one. And it's uh, destiny. Like, hello? Update your vo vocabulary already. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> Don't blame me. Uh, this is not my uh, native tongue. Can't speak Englishy. Me no habla Englishy. Learn some new words. Listen up. Uh, wear plate. Whatever. What the hell does wear plate mean? <laughs> That's what I mean. I don't know. I don't have a lot of it. Uh, my vocabulary is ass. Mm. That said, I kind of like these dark people. Scary, yes. I'm probably heavily into the goth scene. But they gave me exactly what I wanted. The star map and the third piece of the stone disc. With a minimum of talk and no strings attached, they even brought me right back to Markyria. Where, alien or not, I can at least uh, find my way around. If only the city didn't look so empty and dark. What's going on? Yeah, what the hell is going on here? The area, this... This whole area looks super empty. I look like a real... Shut up, April. Alright, these are the new items that we got. We got the blue jewel. It's the blue dragon's eye jewel. It's the blue dragon's eye jewel. And the dark uh, people's stone. It's the piece of the stone disc I got from the dark people. Mm-hmm. The third one. And the map to the stars. It's obviously a map of constellations. And that cross must be where the gateway to the Guardian's realm is located. Constellations, is, huh. no idea. I think constellation is the uh, the uh, what refers to the the star maps, like uh, the like the big bear and uh, the big bear and whatnot. It's the piece of the stone disc I got from the dark. I can't make heads or tails of this map. Yeah, I, don't, I, I can't read these kind of maps as well, uh, as unless the, this is actually also. Like something uh, unique to to Arcadia, huh? We can't go to the other pier. Have bad feeling about this. I know that sound. What the? What the hell is that? Oh no! Is that? Is that the chaos? Oh shit. shit! Cortez must have found me, and just in the nick of time too. Let's get the hell out of here. God, that was close. What caused that shift to open just in time? It has to be Cortez. Finally. Is Hello? it really Cortez? Anybody there? Oh, we're back. We're in Hope Street in the cathedral. Who's there? This is Raúl. I think. It's just me. April, it's good to see you again. I think this is uh, Father Roe. Right? Yeah. It's Father Raul. Let's check out the new entry before we do anything. Finally! In er on Earth. Sunday morning, back in Stark. Back in Newport. Wow. That thing. That Chaos Vortex popped up again. I guess again, because I'd really hoped uh, our first uh, rendezvous was a dream. Nothing but a dream. But hey, apparently not. So not only it, uh, is it back, it looks uh, like it's chasing me. And it's gotten a hell a lot bigger. Now, by some incredible stroke of luck, or maybe likely Cortez, a shift opened up in the uh, in the nick of time and and uh, deposited me here, in the cathedral. Convenient, if a little uh, freaky. 
And why, and why wait uh, so long to bring me back? Not that I haven't accomplished almost everything I need uh, to accomplish in, Ar in Arcadia, save uh, for the uh, fourth piece of stone disc and uh, the second Arcadian dragon's eye jewel. Yeah, we are m still missing th uh, those. But come on, Cortez, could have uh, at least uh, brought me back uh, for a change uh, of underwear at some point. You can change your clothes there. I mean, you have no excuse. Nasty. Nasty girl. It's Father Raul. Well, let's go in the head and talk to him. It's the confessional. Father Raul, where is Cortez? I thought he'd be here. I haven't seen Cortez for a week, and it worries me. He usually stops by once every few days. Huh. I wonder what happened to Cortez. Yeah, Cortez is actually by, from what we've seen before, way a few, <laughs> a few hours back. Uh, I think Cortez is in, uh, in a lot of trouble. How are things here? How are things here? You mean in the cathedral? No, no, I mean here in Newport. How have things been going? Nothing out of the ordinary. Why? Have you been away? Oh, yeah. You could say that, yeah. It's just been hot and humid, and it's getting worse by the day. And apparently crime is on the rise. But what else is new? Hmm. So, uh, this uh, place is turning to Chicago, huh? Feels bad, man. Well, except that Chicago is actually... I think Chicago is really cold. Like, there's a lot of snow. Uh... When did you last see Cortez? We don't have anything... For us to suspect him for. I mean, let's ask him when about Cortez. Cortez. It must have been, I think it was last Sunday, exactly one week today. Oh shit. He's been gone longer than that before, but this time I. What? This time I have a feeling there's something wrong. I don't like that feeling. He doesn't like that feeling. I wonder why. Is there anything you're not telling me, Father Raoul? I don't know what you, uh... Yes, you do. You're no ordinary priest. You know about Stark and Arcadia, about the balance, and I'm sure you know a lot more about Cortez than you're willing to let on. Oh, shit. How did you... I heard you and Cortez talking last Sunday, and it scares me. And pisses me off to think that you're using me, that you're keeping things from me. I thought for sure that I could trust Cortez, but as it turns out, I can't. I was hoping to confront him with this, but he's not around and you... You're part of it too, aren't you? April, you have to trust me when I tell you. Sorry, mm -hmm. I can't trust anybody anymore. There's so much at stake and I... I don't know who to trust, Father. Please, tell me what you know. You are I'm gonna sorry, trust his knowledge? I mean, I'm sorry you don't feel like you can trust anyone anymore, and I'm sorry that I don't know more than I do. But I will try to answer your questions honestly and openly as much as I can. Who is Cortez? That is a really good question. Who is Cortez? What do you mean? The way people react when I mention his name, the fact that he seems to have been alive for a very long time, and that he knows as much as he does. Who is he? <laughs> it's funny, but I've been asking that very same question myself many, many times. Who is this man? He's old, yes, and powerful. He has strong magic, but magic. he rarely lets on exactly how strong he is. He prefers to be considered eccentric. Crazy, even. They are both excellent disguises. You didn't answer me. You still haven't answered my question about Cortez. <sighs> That's because I cannot answer. I just don't know. He found me when I first came here. You see, 
I'm not just a Catholic priest. I'm also a sentinel on Minstrom. Oh shit! You're a Minstrom? Yes. Do you find that strange? Yeah. How can you belong to two religions at the same time? Uh. <laughs> belief in the balance and belief in God are not mutually exclusive. The Sentinel Order was founded on the basis of protecting the balance, not to worship a higher power. Well, depending on the religion, as long actually. As <laughs> our devotion to whatever God we believe in doesn't conflict with our duty to the balance and vice versa, who is to say we can't work in the best interest of both? I guess. I just always thought of the Sentinel as its own faith. It is a faith, but a faith in something less than God. Yet more mm -hmm. than magic or the laws of nature. The balance was created by someone, was it not? I don't know. <laughs> Nor do I. Good answer. But I believe. From I both of them. Faith. That's enough. Good answer from both of them. And having faith in something is uh, something natural to, to things that we cannot uh, uh, have an answer to. Especially in, in terms of uh, evidence, like uh, the existence of, you know, if someone can question that, you know, a supreme being, God, doesn't exist. There's actually, you know, scientifically, you cannot say that God doesn't exist unless you have a proof that he, 100%, that there is no actual, there is no supreme being. Well, you know, regardless of where, where you believe he, he is, where he is now, if there's a heaven or hell or whatnot, that really doesn't matter scientifically. You, can, we, you cannot deny, uh, deny the existence of a supreme being. The same thing goes to aliens, by the way. You know. Speaking of aliens. What did you mean when you said Cortez found you? <laughs> One day, he came to visit me here. He knew who I was, that I was a minstrel, and that I was devoted to restoring the balance as well as to my guide. We soon became good friends. He was very worried about the imminent collapse of the balance, yet told me that he was waiting for someone special, someone who might be able to help us. Me? Yes. He waited for a long time for you to show up, and when you did, it was hard for him trying to convince you that he wasn't crazy. <laughs> I guess his disguise was too good. I don't know much more than that. Cortez tells me very little. Only that you're the key to the survival of the balance. I can only assume that you're the new guardian. Damn, he knows. That's what I've been told. Not by Cortez, of course. No. I understand your frustration. But I cannot help you any more than I have. If there's anything... Anything at all. Thanks, Father. But you've done enough. It feels like I've done nothing. But God be with you. And the balance, too. Hmm. I guess I can understand why Cortez didn't tell us that we are guardian. Because the fact that you'll be prisoned in some place for a thousand years... Uh, it definitely sounds boring. Sounds boring, really. Waiting in one place for a thousand years. Unless you can do uh, anything you want there. And by doing anything you want there, that you can have anything there. This is your uh, paradise. For a thousand of years. For, th for a thousand years. Hmm. How did you become a sentinel mainstream? How did you become a sentinel minstrum? Minstrum. The Sentinel are not Minstrel. numerous and stark. Not yet. Not with the Vanguard, the Church of Voltec, keeping a watchful eye and striking down anyone who dares to proclaim their faith in the balance. Oh, damn! For the Sentinel are here. And when they find someone who they believe will be sympathetic to their cause, they approach them. That's, uh, that's what happened to me. That's ethnic cleansing. They asked you to join? No. They told me the truth. I was studying theology at the time, and I found scriptures that challenged conventional wisdoms, made me question the validity of my faith. Damn. But once I learned the truth about the balance and the guardian and the ongoing war with the vanguard, 
it became easier to believe in God again because now things made sense. Take that, atheist! And so, in the end, I chose to become not only a priest, but a minstrel. And I don't regret my decision. Hmm. You've never been to the other world, huh? Have you ever been to Arcadia? I don't think so. No, I'm not a shifter. I'm stuck here, unfortunately. Unfortunately, he wants. I've been fortunate enough to read most of the scriptures of the balance. He and wants that to go in there. Itself is a rare privilege for a Starker like me. I don't have any more questions right Damn now. Damn, a Starker? <laughs> if you do, please ask. I want to help, and that's the truth. Filthy Starker, filthy Arcadian. I don't Can think I he has. Some more questions. Always, April. I don't think he has uh, I don't any, have any more, more questions. questions right now. Yeah. If you do, please ask. I want to help, and that's the truth. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, we'll have to go. But where? I have to run, Father. I hope to see you again soon, April. Please take care of yourself. And if you see Cortez, tell him to see me. Tell him that that I've been worried. Will do. No, not today. Not today. It's Father Raoul. It's a wall painting featuring, amongst other things, a cherub and a long red robe. It's a wall painting featuring... Mm, okay, let's get the hell out of here. There's something about stained glass windows that immediately puts me in a sp Maybe they're just holographic candles. Yeah, there's nothing new with these descriptions. Uh, the place is empty. For a reason. Can we go and uh, check out on... Uh... I forgot his name. Eric? No, his name is uh, Wick or something. I really forgot his name. We have nothing to do other than actually head back home, I guess. That's the only thing we can do. Damn, it's been ages of yours, huh? It's been ages! Actually, before we go home, can we... Uh... Can we go uh, pick up our... Uh... Our fake uh, credentials? Damn, it's been a while. It's a 2032 Camaro. It's probably worth at least quarter of a million bucks. Who'd leave a car like that in a place like this? Uh-oh, it bites. Hmm, we still can't use the car. I'm gonna assume that we can use the car. Let's, let's go ahead and check on... Uh, I forgot his name, what was his name? Where there's ventilation, there's life. I think oh, we need to talk here for him to open the door. Three times. I remember. Huh. Where there's vent where, where there's ventilation, there's that didn't work. even if I could somehow squeeze through that hole, there's just no way I'm gonna risk getting stuck. The doors are closed. The doors are closed. That didn't work at all. That's some sort of a, a way to enter, actually. I look like a real sailor. Arr, Maggie. Construction yard from here? I guess. I thought you needed to knock three times. I guess he's really not here. Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. All right, I guess we have nothing to do other than just uh, go back. Go back and talk people. Uh... Uh, 
where we live. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Damn, it's been a long journey. And by the way, viewers, we're actually uh, kind of reaching the end of it. Well, I'm not gonna say that we'll, we'll we are reaching the end of it. Uh, I think there are gonna gonna be probably more hours. I mean, this uh, this game actually, I, th I thought for the very first time that I came here, I thought that. that I am gonna end the game right here, right now, but, uh... A couple of things that... I really should go home and change into something that doesn't make me look like a medieval restorationist. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, the game here tries to, t tries to tell you where you need to go. But, uh... But, yeah, we, uh, we're still, uh... Not done. It'll probably take us like I don't know. As a bet, uh, I actually can. I'm not gonna tell <laughs> how much it's gonna take us. But uh, yeah, this game is definitely longer than usual. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the playthrough. I'm definitely enjoying this game. This game is uh, this game is fun. It's actually really. I'm glad that I've uh, managed to. Uh, Revisit this game again. Will they uh, make fun of us if we go, uh, if we go there at the cafe? Whoa, it's closed. What is here? The fringe. It's all dark and deserted. It's all dark and deserted. Open it's closed the... again? That's the second time in two weeks, and this time there's not even a sign. There is a sign here. It's closed. It's closed. The, the fringe cafe, my home away from home. It's the mystery door. Mystery door. Use the force, Luke. Use the fork, Luke. All right, let's go uh, head back uh, home. Speaking of uh, my home away from home, let's actually go back to, to our apartment. I guess we have uh, we uh, have to go back and change. I'm not gonna see Mickey at all. Feels bad, man. Oh. What's going on here? April, run! Get out of here! Why what the hell happened? The... Run, April, now! I wouldn't listen to her if I were you. Move over there. I said move! What the hell? Who's the hell is that? Emma, who's this man? Tell me what's going on. Who are you? What do you want? He's just following orders, Miss Ryan. He's just a servant. My servant. Who's that? Who's there? I was hoping you would join our little party. You're a very difficult person to find, Miss Ryan. A very difficult person to find. What are you doing to my friends? If you cooperate, nothing. Nothing permanent, at any rate. No shit. But if you make this any harder than it has to be, I will have your friends shot. All of them. Who the hell are you? What do you... Do I know you? I know you. I've seen your face somewhere. My name is Halloway. Gordon Halloway. That's Gordon! I work for Jacob McAllen, who I am certain you have heard of, yes? He runs the Church of Voltec also known as the Vanguard. He has been insisting on meeting you, Miss Ryan. Of course, we were not sure who you were at first, but we knew we would find you in Venice. You did give us a run for our money, I must admit. Your shift a week ago today made it a lot easier, but then you decided to stay out of town for a while. Smart. Coming back, though, was rather stupid. Oh, shit! 
He knows about shifting, about... Well, he is from the Church of Voltex, so he's... He probably know. Where's Cortez? Where's Cortez? Cortez? He has been uh, disposed of. <gasps> oh no! He was meddling. Not at all acceptable behavior from a man of his stature. No! He simply had to go. He kept telling all the secrets, and that is not how we play this game. I mean, I know that, I mean, it's not gonna be a, be challenging to know where you live, but how did they know that I actually shifted here? How did you find me? Oh, we have our methods. The eyes that see the oh, shit. that hear. Spies! Our impressive technology helps, of course, and... Mr. McAllen is not a bad magician. Oh, shit. He can sense things. Besides, you have not been especially covert, have you? I mean, the job you did in the police archives was messy. Very <laughs> messy. Footprints all over it. Not your footprints, certainly, but footprints. That poor fool, Mr. Minnelli, was it? It took us eight painful hours to get a confession. And then, it turns out he actually knew nothing about it. Did... did you kill him? Oh shit, the detective! Certainly not. He has proven useful in the past. No, a little uh, mental laundry and this nasty business is behind him. We even cleaned up a few uh, unfortunate childhood memories while we were at it. Damn, you guys have the technology? What do you want from me? We want you. And what you carry with you. Oh shit. We have our connections in Arcadia. We know of your journey north. Good job on our friend Mr. Klax, by the way. Good job. Very impressive. Of course. Damn! I mentioned the fine work you did on that Gribbler creature. She was not very cooperative. She just refused to listen to reason. But she was a twisted old girl, and we respected that. How the? Unfortunately, we lost track of you once you set out to sea. The Tyran are not very comfortable with water. And so there was no chance of sending anyone after you. However, with your good fortune and, shall we say, good breeding, I am certain you brought some valuable items back with you. I would expect no They can shift to back to Arcadia. Girl such as yourself. At least have some sort of so contact there. Give me what you have and let us be done with this nasty business. I will let your friends go and then you and I Go on a little trip. Shit. 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 God damn it. All right. Release my friends and you will get what I have. You are a very intelligent woman, Miss Ryan. Still, we need to teach you and your friends a lesson. Shoot that one. What the? No! Emma! <gasps> No! What the hell is going on? Mickey! 